students, I'm on campus and I want to give you a quick tutorial on how you would use the bench grinder to grind work whenever we're back on campus. And the bench grinder is a piece of power equipment that has a large silicon carbide grinding disc attached to it. We use this in ceramics to grind pieces of glaze that have run off the pot and attached itself to the kiln shelf. Now, you can do this in small little bits. If you have a very runny form and there's a lot of glaze drips, it's recommended that you toss that in the trash, okay? But if you have a small piece with a small drip and you need to use the bench grinder to remove it, I wanna show you how to do that safely. So, the first thing that we have to talk about, as always, is safety. Here's our bench grinder at Mount Sac. Um, it has two blades. One has a support here to support a piece as you're holding it, and one is more exposed for you to have a larger piece to maneuver. Whenever you use the bench grinder, you wanna make sure that your apron tails are tucked really tight, that nothing is hanging forward. You wanna make sure that you have some sort of face covering on so you don't breathe in any fumes. You wanna make sure that any long hair, which I do not have, but if you have a long braid or a long ponytail, that's tied back no keys hanging down, nothing like that. And then of course, most importantly, eye protection. Okay, so I'm gonna get this bench grinder started. It's pretty loud. I'm gonna take this pot with this drip and I'm going to push it into the grinder. It feels like it wants to grab the pot and throw it out of your hand. You have to hold it really firmly. Watch your fingers. Okay, let's get back. Now that I've removed the glaze from the bottom of my form, just little touches, but holding it firmly, I don't want to touch the bottom. It's extremely hot, and you have really uh, almost melted some of this glaze as you ground it off. So try and avoid the urge to touch the area that you just freshly ground. You turn your bench grinder off and you wait until it completely stops before you walk away. You need to guard it so no unsuspecting student walks by and gets tangled up in it while it's still spilling, spinning. All right guys, that's the bench grinder. See you in the classroom.